Burlington's water supply is once again in the spotlight. A couple of weeks after the town's Department of Public Works reported that levels of the chemical PFAS were above the new state guidelines, they have a new problem. On Thursday, they said that water tested on Wednesday came out positive for E. coli in three of the 11 sites they examined. The bacteria was also found in both water sources. This prompted the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection to issue an emergency boil water order in town. The boil water order will remain in place for the immediate future for anybody who uses public water in Burlington. All water that will be used for drinking or cooking should be boiled for at least one minute before use. According to guidance put out by the town, boiled or bottled water should be used for consumption, cooking, brushing teeth, and hand washing. Additionally, young children should be given sponge baths to avoid accidentally drinking water in the tub. Pets should also be given boiled or bottled water for consumption. Sanchez said they understand this is difficult and are looking to find the source of the problem. The DPW is doing a full round of resampling in the entire town and will continue to do that to try to find out the source of this uh, E. coli outbreak we have in the system. In addition to that, uh, the police department helped us out with their drone to inspect our tanks in the town. So we flew those this morning just to make sure that all the hatches and there was no access point to any animals, birds, etc. that might have contributed to uh, this situation we have right now. Though they don't know the cause of this contamination, Sanchez said there are some usual suspects. Could get E. coli if uh, an animal will access our water system, and this is one of the reasons we tested our uh, tanks this morning, we inspected the tanks, because if a bird will to uh, get in one of the tanks and die there, then that, that could be a source. Another source is if you have a, a major water main break, that again, that's an access point to a water system. Otherwise, it's very difficult. I mean, a water distribution system is a closed system, so uh, nothing should be able to enter into a system. The group said there have been no cases of anyone falling ill reported to the town, but that residents should be aware of the symptoms of E. coli. Important things about E. coli is that some strains of E. coli can cause illness. Therefore, if anybody experiences any type of symptoms such as cramps, diarrhea, nausea, etc., they should consult their physician. Um, I want to apologize for the inconvenience we're causing to our residents and our business community. We know how hard it is to have to go through a boil water order haven't done this one before, and I, I know it's very difficult. Finally, though testing is continuing, Sanchez said he expects the boil order to be in place for at least a couple of days. I, I believe that it's probably going to go through the weekend. I mean, obviously, when we sample today, which we're doing right now, uh, it'll continue to, uh, we'll continue to do sampling, but it takes 24 hours to get the results. So whatever we do today, we'll find out tomorrow afternoon. We'll do an all around tomorrow. We'll get the results on Sunday. We hope that it will be negative. And at that point, DEP will decide whether or not to lift the order. From the Burlington Town Hall Annex, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.